if you, sure you do. Let's pause here a moment. We'll drink a toast to human beings around the world. And what makes them laugh? But first, the ship. Water. Did you ever get drunk and go home and sit on a toilet and throw up in the face bowl? <laughs> hey, you thought no one knew, did you? I've been drunk in that. I sat in the face bowl and threw up in the toilet. <laughs> no kidding, I came back a half hour later to put some cold water on my forehead. And I reached down in the face bowl. I... <laughs> I said, God damn, I don't remember eating that. <laughs> Lady, you don't have to explain it to him. <laughs> That's good. You married? That's better. Uh, yeah, I think if you're, you're in love, you don't need license, you need linen. If you're really in love, you need gargle. Check up. And if you don't like each other, pack up. I got married and fucked up. <laughs> I married a Korean. Pretty, maybe you saw her. I married the enemy. <laughs> because I'm an American war veteran. I think if you can't beat them good, fuck them. <laughs> so I'm going home tonight and do my part for America. <laughs> That's right. I'm fucking the enemy. <laughs> Thank you, you laugh so nice. That's pretty. Wish you were darker. <laughs> a toast. English humor. A gentleman should never argue with a lady. He should dick her. <laughs> Chinese humor. Confucius said, crowded elevator smell different to midget. <laughs> African humor. What do you get from an elephant's trunk? Two six-foot boogers. <laughs> Mexican humor. Why does it have hair around it? To keep it from looking like a taco. <laughs> Did you ever eat one? I mean a taco. <laughs> now you have to hold your head sideways so the meat don't fall out. <laughs> yes, it, uh, <laughs> thank you, honey. That's the way he'd laugh. That's the way I love to see girls laugh like that. Enjoy life because it's rough out there. How are you, darling? She looked like my first right. That's you, Evelyn? <laughs> Another toast, miscellaneous. What is a sardine? A sardine is a little fish that smells like a finger. You never know what goes over you. What's the difference between meat and fish? Hard to beat your fish. <laughs> hey, that's good. Hey, let me tell you. Take a very relaxing man's watch smoke. I've been smoking 42 years. If I don't have cancer now, I'd probably have someone eat cancer's ass up. <laughs> People worry about their diet so they can live, you know what I mean? They give up cottage cheese and applesauce and liver and bacon, ham, you know what I mean? Boiled potatoes, spinach. They quit eating all that stuff, sugar and butter and lard, just so they can live. Isn't that dumb? You're gonna feel like a goddamn fool laying out the hospital dying from nothing. <laughs> You hate to laugh right out loud, don't you? Virgin? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I was telling you about my wife earlier. She been, I forgot, you know, she's been bugging me 15, years, 15 months now for a ring. When I get ring, she asked me, you know, when I get ring, when I get ring, I said, as soon as I step out this fucking tub, you get ring. <laughs> See, I ain't taking no shit off no foreigners. 
See, I'm American. I was born here. My father was born here. His father was born here. His father was brought here. <laughs> was fishing too close to the river in Africa. Snatched his black ass right up off the shore. Come on, nigga, goddammit, North Carolina. <laughs> That's the way things happen for you. you know, I could have been a king, maybe. Who knows? That's right, you know, handed down. Africa. I mean, when they were marching, people started screaming in the suburbs, back to Africa with them. Back to, I said, back to Africa with who? <laughs> Shit, I ain't never been to Africa. <laughs> you know, send me home, send me to St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> 44, 61, in right, top floor. <laughs> Africa, what the hell I look like standing in the jungle with a $750 more ass suit and some alligator shoes? <laughs> That's not hunting garb. I'm here all the way. And I could clear up a lot of things in the country had I been a politician. I could have been my grandfather, Red Fox the first, one of the first black politicians in Mississippi. Ran for the border. <laughs> and made it. When he broke his stride, he was in Quebec. <laughs> I mean, moving, see? A lot of things, people, a lot of whites today, 1978 think black people talk bad. But you fail to stop and realize, white friends, that Southern whites taught Africans English. Think about that in a moment. The African didn't know nothing about this here, and uh-huh, and yonder, and Gwon, and get it, and Ura, and Swanee. Not African, it's Southern whites talking. They said, no, boy, God damn it, I didn't tell you to get that there. I told you to get that over yonder. Uh-huh. Now chunk it over here, boy. Chunk it. Africans say, ooma gooma. <laughs> Which means, chunk that shit yourself and fuck you, you redneck son of a bitch. You, I ain't living nothing. You and your mama both can kiss my black ass. <laughs> but if you don't understand African, you get lost. You got that, is that dress on backwards? <laughs> Jesus. The baby will never go hungry. <laughs> I hate big titties. <laughs> no, they slow you down. <laughs> this is a semi-nice crowd. Some of you folks, some might have a prude or two in here. But let me square this way for you. We had a sign out front that said, Triple X Rated Show. That's what it is. That's why they put that up. Triple X Rated Show. That means what's been happening. Now, you knew that. So don't sit up and look pure for me. Jesus knows your crooked Christian ass is in here. <laughs> you heard the song, You Can't Hide. He can see through this ceiling like Clark Kent. <laughs> he knows you're in here. He sees you in your motel room, laying up there buck naked with some superb freak. <laughs> he sees you. He recognizes the back of your head. <laughs> And he knows you're not bobbing for apples. Because <laughs> that's November. Think. 